folks and welcome to the Lean Girl YouTube channel and this is my first festive season um, Lean Girl dessert and of course it was between two that had been most requested one being Lean Girl mince pies and the other one being a trifle probably two of the most favorite Christmas desserts so today I'm bringing you a Lean Girl Christmas mince pie that was the vote First one coming at you, the truffle is also going to be next level. I know so many of you are dying for a lean girl truffle, but today we are making a lean girl mince pie, one of my personal favorites. You either are a lover or a hater of anything with like the fruit inside, right? So like Christmas cake, Christmas pudding, mince pies, I love it. You guys know I love cinnamon and all things warm and tasty and spicy. Let me know in the comments, love them or hate them. Um, Christmas pudding, Christmas pie, mince pies, you let me know if you love or hate them. Now before we get into the recipe today, do your girl a little Christmas favor and subscribe to the channel because you do not want to miss any more of my Lean Girl Christmas treats that are coming up. We're going to be doing trifle, we may do a little biscuit, we're also going to be doing some New Year's Eve cocktails, you know, for the little celebrations. Let's get straight into the recipe. Um, we are going to start off with a crust. Now this crust I actually used for my Lean Girl Milk Tart as well. It's a really simple, easy one. So if you want to use, do anything that's almost like a short crust pastry, this is the recipe you are going to want to use. I'm going to be starting off with some oat flour. By the way, this is going to make six little mince pies today. Now my girls, the calories are not crazy low because unfortunately to get the perfect um, crust to get the perfect filling there's certain things that you just cannot replace so you cannot replace things like dried fruit the, the um, raisins and the cranberries like they just cannot be replaced um, so I've tried to make them more macro friendly make them higher in protein and of course reduce the calories a bit but this is not like ridiculously low I'll put the calories up on screen of the original version um, and the lean girl version so you can also check that out Okay, so we're starting off with the flour that I use for pretty much everything, which is oat flour. I've got 80 grams of oat flour, which I'm going to be using here. If you don't have oat flour, grind up some oats in your Nutribullet and kapow, you've got oat flour. Okay, then of course we want this to be high protein. So I'm going in with one scoop, which is 30 grams of protein powder. I would definitely have used my caramel or vanilla for this recipe, but I actually only have my coconuts and cream. The flavor is quite mild, so I'll still get away with it. So we want one serving, which is around 30 grams. The scoop is a little bit bigger. 30 grams of protein powder. You can, if you don't want to use protein powder and you don't want this to be high protein, you could just use more oat flour. That's absolutely fine. Um, and again, you can use any protein powder that you enjoy. Vanilla, caramel, um, any kind of mild flavor like that will work perfectly well. Then of course we want this to our crust to be pretty sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead with the equivalent of three sweeteners. Um, if you're using the sachet, so this is three spoons of candorel, which is my favorite low-cal sweetener because it basically is like no calories at all. So, um, okay, then that is it ready for the dry ingredients here. So to bring this all together and to give us that nice short crust biscuit-like base, we are gonna be using two things. So the first one is gonna be my extra light margarine, which you guys know I love. This is the Flora Light. So it's the most low calorie margarine slash butter that you can get on the market. And we are gonna be using um, 20 grams of Flora Light. So I'm gonna put that on my trusty scale and then I'm gonna measure out 20 grams. And we're just gonna pop that in the middle don't want to lose gram and then um, we are going to use some low-fat Greek yogurt you can also use plain yogurt if you wish and we're going to go in with 60 grams of this and that is pretty much how simple and how easy it is so let me just grab a new clean spoon and we're going to go with 60 grams I love this yogurt because it is so high in protein and it is extremely thick. Like this with frozen fruit is basically dessert. Okay, 
So now we're gonna put in some elbow grease and we're gonna work this all together and still, until it starts forming a dough. So let's get going. Okay, so as you can see, we now have ourselves a bit of dough. And depending on if it's too sticky, like I promise you just carry on working it and you'll actually find that everything comes together really nicely. You'll be surprised, like it looks like there's no way this is gonna turn into a dough, but if you keep on working it, keep on working it, you will eventually find yourself a lovely ball of dough. So now we are gonna go ahead and use our little muffin tin. So we wanna create six little cups, which our mince meat is going to go into. I'm just gonna grab my spray and cook because we need to give this little thing a spray. So give them all a good spray because we don't want them to stick. And by the way, this is just the regular smaller muffin tin. I do have the giant one. And of course you could change the recipe if you wanted to make bigger ones, you wanted to make smaller ones. Um, that's totally up to you. So now what we want to do is we basically want to um, divide this into six. So we can cut it into half and then we can cut it into six pieces. And then the easiest way that I find to do this is to make a ball for each one. And then you can also flour your hands, by the way. And then what you wanna do is you wanna start pressing down from the middle um, and creating a circle. And then you're just gonna work it out slightly until you make a thinner and thinner sort of pancake shape. So if you don't do this, it's really difficult and you're gonna find that the dough is very sticky. Like you can't just try and put it in here. You need to be able to make a circle um, so that, <coughs> that spray cooks get into me. Um, so that you can just slowly but surely work them out. And so we are gonna do this for all six of them. And then you are just going to lay them down into your little muffin tin. Voila! Okay, so there we have our lovely little crusts that are ready to go. So I'm gonna pop these now into the oven on 200 degrees for eight to 10 minutes until they are beautifully golden and cooked through and brown. And then I'm gonna head on to the stove in the meantime and show you guys how to make our mince meat. Okay, so let's start making our fruit mince. So I've got just a saucepan here on the heat, um, medium heat, and I'm gonna start off with the juice of one orange. So that is gonna be sort of the liquid that we are going to be using here. It's a little bit too hot. Um, and then we are gonna go ahead and add, this is just one um, chopped up apple. So I peeled it and then I chopped it into small cubes. So you want them almost the size of like a raisin. Um, so we're gonna throw that in. And then we want this to start to soften. Um, and so really when it comes to making mince meat, Unfortunately, raisins, sultanas, cranberries, all the wonderful dried fruit are generally quite high in calories. So we are trying to bulk it up here by using more apple um, and less of the dried fruit, which is gonna help us to bring the calories down. So we want our apple to start softening and I'm just gonna start adding in our spices as well um, while that begins to happen. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna put in, I would say this is the equivalent of three sachets of sweetener. Our mince pies are obviously glorious and sweet. The apple is sweet too, but we really want this to be, um, you know, really delicious and sweet. So about three sachets of sweetener. And then we're gonna go in with our, just make sure to stir every now and again so that our apples don't burn. Um, and then we are gonna go in with our wonderful spices. And so I'm gonna start off with some ground cinnamon. And you can add as much as you like. I'd say probably the standard would be around a teaspoon, but I love cinnamon, so I might have a little bit more. A little bit more. 
Okay, then we're gonna go in with some allspice. You can use allspice or you can use nutmeg, whichever one you have. This actually has a combination of clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg, which is basically allspice. So don't put too much in because it is quite a strong flavor. I'd say just a little sprinkle, which is gonna add some really nice warmth um, to the dish. So this is what our apples are looking like. They're obviously just getting nicely coated now with all of our spices. And then I'm also gonna add um, about a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I'm just also gonna bring out the beautiful flavors of all the spices that we've added. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna be adding some of my sugar-free maple walnut Walden's Farm syrup. If you can't get your hands on the syrup, the Lean Gourmet Pancake Syrup will also work really well. Otherwise, if you can't get either, you can also use honey, um, or you can use a spoon of jam, depending on what you have available, but obviously the calories then would be slightly more. So um, I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons of my syrup. And then we want this to start cooking away um, nicely as our apples start to soften. Okay, then we are going to be adding um, a bit of dried fruit. So here I have a mixture of cranberries and raisins. And so I'm going to add these in too because I actually want these to absorb the liquid as well and really plump out nicely. And then the last ingredient we are gonna add here is the rind of one orange, which is the same orange that I used to get the juice from. And that is gonna add a nice zesty flavor to our mincemeat. And then you can just keep on stirring it and we're just gonna wait a little while for our apples to start to soften as we really want that delicious soft baked apple flavor. Oh my word, it smells like Christmas. Okay, so our minced meat is ready. It smells ridiculously good. Like you could even put this in the middle of the protein pancakes and it would be so phenomenal. So I'm gonna take this off and then we are now going to add it to our wonderful little crust. Okay, look, so our beautiful little tart casings are out of the oven. They are lovely and golden brown. And now all we have to do is fill our lovely little mince pies. I'm sorry if you hear that noise in the background, guys. It's my washing machine that's ha happening over there. Guys, this filling, I actually cannot stop eating it. Like, I've already had too many spoonfuls, and I hope that I'm going to have enough for our tarts. Um, so now the next step is ready. Everything is done. You just want to spoon in and you can pack it in quite nicely. Our wonderful mince pie filling. And as I said, you could even use this filling in like a protein pancake and make like a, how's I'm full of bright ideas, a Christmas pudding protein pancake. Does it get better than that? I, I think not. Guys, I love Christmas, I must tell you. I am the type that is listening to Christmas music from November. Like, I know some people are like, that's the worst, but oh my God, I just love everything about Christmas. We actually need to get our tree out of our storage because that thing's going up. And it only stays up until like March, until I really have to take it down. How good do these look? Okay girls, I had to turn that spinning thing off because it was just driving me insane. And then to top them off, just to be really pretty, um, I've just got a few little chopped apricots. I haven't worked these into the calories and be warned, dried fruit is like crazy amounts of calories, but we're just gonna put a few on the decoration. And then the man that's been waiting patiently to do taste these little Christmas pies. It's gonna come over. Is that my cue? Cue the taster. I love being the guinea pig. Well listen, we can't eat too many of them because we have to still take photos of them. That's like the thing, all right? It's like I have to take photos, but we also have to eat them, but we also need, to, you know, we have to know what to do first. What to do, what to do. Just eat them while taking photos. Guys, I am so, so chuffed. So chuffed. 
I promise you I've already eaten like 10 mouthfuls of this <laughs> filling. It's so good. Which one do you want me to eat? Okay, well, let's, let's make you eat the ugly one so that I can take nice photos of the other one. They're all cute though. That one's cute but it's a bit lopsided. Might make a good photo though. It's a bit rustic. <laughs> okay, let's go for this one. Okay. okay, I'm gonna take a bite and then I'll do it. Okay. It's legit, folks. Does it taste as good as it smells? Mmm. Mm. Hey! Mm. Guys, you would never say this is Dokal. Honestly, the filling is so on point. It tastes exactly like I promise you these are better than your Woolies mince pie. The base I is really to good say. as well. I know, it's like a short crust the, pastry. The base is excellent. Feeding him, what is this? Christmas. <laughs> okay then. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you're oh, out. You're out. He's, oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, <laughs> okay, oh. my girls, I am so happy with these. I know you are going to love them. I know that you're all gonna spend a bit of time in the kitchen over the December period, whether it's a new holiday. Um, I feel like we may be making these all year round. They are so freaking tasty. Again, they are high protein, they are lower calorie, they are super macro friendly, um, and they're also damn delicious. So this is gonna be the first of my couple of Lean Girl festive season treats. So please don't forget, if you make them, tag me on Instagram, I love to see them. And then of course, subscribe if you haven't yet done so because I'm gonna have lots more recipes perfect for Christmas that are going to help you to still stay lean, to still move closer towards your goals and still eat all of the delicious food. And if you haven't yet signed up to my Lingo Kitchen Coach, that is my ultimate recipe hub that has all of my recipes for breakfast, lunches, dinners, desserts, even I have a restaurant guide in there, I have a convenience meal guide in there, basically your ultimate meal planning calorie conscious tool. So I'm gonna put the link in the description to that one. Otherwise, please girls, try out the Lingo Mince Pies and tag me on Instagram, and most of all, enjoy them. Much love, Mwah.